Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, I'd like to talk about when you live back in the woods and you try to self-sustain and growing, growing older, right? Mosquitoes. So yesterday, uh, some of you know that I just was backing up while I was filming yesterday's video and tripped over a stick of wood that I had just put there moments before, folks, right? So, you know how when things like that happen, it, it happens in slow motion, right? So you have, really, you have time to, to think and problem solve and all of that as it's happening. So I knew I was going right straight back. And I wasn't sure how close the wood was um, behind me, and I didn't want to hit the back of my head or my neck or whatever and break something, right? So as I was falling falling back, I I said, well, I'll, I'd rather have my shoulder take the hit than, than the back of my head or my neck. So I, I turned as I was falling, and I landed in a little divot, and my shoulder... My shoulder really, really got hurt. So, no, I'm not going to the doctors unless I feel it's absolutely necessary, folks. I think people run to the doctors way too soon. If you fall, more than likely, well, at some sometimes you, you get hurt. Sometimes you really get hurt, right? So, and that takes time to heal. Now, folks, I, I know a little bit about medical. So... I knew to evaluate myself. Could I have stayed down a little bit longer? Yes, absolutely. But I also know that it's going to hurt even even more, right? And when I get my mindset to doing something, folks, damn it, I, I am going to do it if at all possible. So be, and it hurt, uh, but I knew it was going to hurt even more the more the minutes go on, right? So I finished what I was doing, which was measuring my pole bean, right? So anyway, last night was pretty rough. It was. So as you get older and you live the, the physical lifestyle that we do in here, you cut your own firewood, you, you, everything is pretty well physical labor. Still things have to be done, like firewood, right? So... A few years ago, there wasn't a person in on this road that wasn't injured. And it was either because they had just had surgery or they had broken a bone or they had taken a, taken a fall or cutting trees and uh, what they call widow makers, the dead, the dead top of the, the tree comes down and, and hits you in the head and shoulders, right, which has happened in here. So that year, we were all in serious physical pain, but still, wood had to be done. So the bigger, we did what we could, um, and you just have to get creative, right? So this, well, the last few days, I was helping my, my stepdad get his firewood in the heat, folks, in the sun, because, you know, the, the stuff that has to be bucked up. Is, is never in the shade. So we was in the wood yard and we we got what we could. Well, we were saving the, the bigger ones for a cooler day. When I say bigger, bigger butts of logs, it's they're, they're really, really big. So we usually save them for a day that it's, that it's a whole lot cooler. So my stepdad, he has to have surgery and he's limited, and he's 83, folks, and he's still still out getting his own firewood and, and everything, right? But he's in a lot of pain, and he has physical limitations because he has to have surgery. So, and I just took a big tumble and, and really hurt my shoulder. So, we got to those big, lo big butt-end logs this morning, and I said, I, I cannot do that. I've only got one arm that I am that I'm working with. I said, you can't do that because you're, you have a lot of limitations right now. 
I said, what did we do with the big wood when none of us could lift them a few years ago? And he said that he couldn't remember. And I said, oh, I do. I do now. So I came back to the house and I rummaged through my my lumber pile, my scrap lumber pile, and found two two-by-fours the same length. And we used that. And here's a short video of what we were doing this morning and the size of the chunks of wood that had to be put up on the wood splitter in order to be to be split. So that worked pretty good. Between his limitations and my one arm, we were able to roll those those big chunks of wood up on the wood splitter and then load them into the trailer, right? So when it comes when it comes down to needing to do something and your your limitations are really limited, you get creative and you just do what you need to do. You and if you don't get it done, then it doesn't get done, so you have to find a way to get it done, right? Pain or not, injury or not, things still have to be done. I did not get a chance to do an update, which is usually done on Fridays, on my experimental garden, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to it today. I, Fridays are my real busy day, and now that now that I'm injured, uh, things are going to take longer. It's still got to be done, and we just do it. There's no, there's no room for excuses, folks, when things have to be done. If you make excuses, you're cheating yourself out. And what doesn't kill you really does make you stronger, makes you tougher, makes you... You just have to adjust, folks, right? I work in pain all the time here because I have significant arthritis. It doesn't stop me. It just doesn't stop me whatsoever. Uh, matter of fact... Doing and living the way, doing the things that I that I do here and living the way that I do with the arthritis that I have, I think it it helps keep the arthritis so you don't don't stiffen up, right? So that's just what you do. That's what you do. If you give into, if you give into a lot of things, then you're never going to get anything done. You're never going to know what you're actually physically capable of doing, right? Um, and again, I, I am okay, folks. I just want, I want to reassure you that I am okay. Does it hurt? It, it hurts like a mother. I'm just going to say that. The Tylenol, I took a thousand milligrams. The Tylenol didn't even touch it. The ice, the ice that I had on there, it didn't, it didn't do anything, folks. Um, so I had to wait for the Tylenol to wear off, which was four hours. And then I, I took 800 milligrams of ibuprofen and that worked, that worked quite a lot. So it lessened the pain, but only because it was taking the swelling down in there. So as far as the injury, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I, I tore at least two ligaments in my in my shoulder, a tendon or two tendons and a ligament. And I know, um, and I know that from my shoulder down to my elbow, that whole bicep and tricep, I know that has been pulled. So a little bit of pain, not, there's no pain anywhere else, folks. I expected my, this side of my neck to be hurting like all get out this morning. It doesn't hurt whatsoever. And because the, the ibuprofen took the swelling down, it really allowed me to see where the pain was. Going on range of motion, I could tell where the damage is. And I, I know what I am capable of. I, I know my limits. I know when I need to seek medical attention. I really do, folks. You're going to have to trust my judgment. I've been hurt a lot in here. I've had many broken bones. I have had a lot of torn ligaments, a lot of pulled muscles, a lot of tendon issues. I, I know when I need to go to the doctor, folks. This, I do not need to go to the doctor, although last night, 
I, I had seriously wondered if I, I needed to go into, uh, be seen in the middle of the night. All is good. Do not worry. I did not fall off the ladder. I climbed the ladder because one, after the fall, because one, I was, once I get my mind made up, folks, I am going to do it. And I knew that if I didn't finish what I was intended to do, that the pain would have would eventually really get to me, even though I was in quite a bit of pain right there. So there you go. If you're a homesteader, if you live out in the woods, if you do hard physical labor just by the way you live, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It makes you tougher. It makes you more tolerant. It lets you know what your body can and can't do. It really does, folks. So there it is. There it is. All is good. Uh, it's all good. We've all been hurt pretty significantly in here throughout the years. We've all lived, right? We've all lived. Some of us had to have operations. Some of us had to be really careful what we did for quite a while. Uh, but we're pretty stubborn. We're pretty tough in here, folks. We are. We're pretty tough. We're not spleeny. And if things have to be done, we're going to find a way to do it. So, you'll be good. I've got to get some stuff done. Be good. Be safe. Accidents happen. If it, if at all physically possible, stand right back up. And keep going forward with what you can do and what you can't do. Try to, if you think you can't do, try to adjust. Try to modify. And if you think you need to, hi there, baby boy. And if you think you need to go be seen, then by all means, go be seen. All right? Bye-bye.